Discontent may have scenes of violence, butchering of mutated creatures, and dragons. Previous stalkers, how are you today? So in this video, I will show you a guide about settings in Stalker Anomaly. Stalker Anomaly can be quite confusing, so I decided to make this guide on the most important settings in the game. Also, I will show you some differences between Gamma and regular Stalker Anomaly, because Gamma turns on some settings that are off by default in Stalker Anomaly. So I'm going to begin with the most important settings, the gameplay settings and the progressive settings. Now when you start a new game, whether you play story mode or any other mode, you have to pick the gameplay and progression options. A very simple way to explain what the gameplay difficulty means is the physical aspect of the game. How much you can carry, how much fatigue your character gets and a lot more. While the progression only affects the looting and economy aspect of the game. Progression also affects how much items you can pick for your loadout at the start of the game. As you pick these settings at the start of your playthrough, you can only select 3 presents for gameplay and another 3 for progression. And you cannot customize them until you have spawned in the zone. A lot of players have no idea they can customize each aspect of the gameplay and progression options. So when you start a new game, as you can see, you'll have points left here. Now these points basically will allow you to select your loadout. By the way, this will look a little bit different on Vanilla Stalker Anomaly. So these points will be a bit different as well because I'm using a mod. Anyway, it works the same though. Um, so if I do progression and I do survivalist, you can see that the game slashed 500 points less from my... Uh, pickup points. These are basically pickup points. So basically, I can you know pick up an outfit here, pick up a gun here, and as you can see, I am consuming these points. So if you play on survivalist, you'll have a lot less options. Also, in vanilla stalker anomaly, you will have a lot less weapon options than this, right? Anyway, I'm gonna start on easy and tourist, so I can show you some. Uh, differences and there are some options that are quite annoying that you should probably turn on or so some of them you have to probably turn them off uh, this I have a backpack because i'm gonna need it to show you something else actually we need to one and this one okay so we can start and start story mode start in order Okay, I started here in Corden. Put on some clothes. So right. So gameplay is on easy and I am on tourist progression, right? But if I go gameplay, we can change to different options here. So up here you have the presents, you have easy, medium, and hard. So let's say you started on easy and you think it's too easy, you can then switch it to medium, and you can also customize each factor here that you have. So here we have player protection, this is how much your outfit will protect you against bullets basically, and weapon damage. Here you have a bullet hit factor, you crank this up and pistols basically can kill in one shot. Then you have enemy dispersion. Now this on Gamma is usually cranked down. This will allow you, allow the enemies to basically be more accurate. And this is also how much recoil your enemies will have on their weapons. You crank it up, they're going to have a lot of recoil, crank it down. They're going to be a lot more accurate, especially with assault and assault rifles and machine guns. Then here we have stamina loss factor. And if you crank this up, I'm going to actually sprint. You can see that my stamina is barely going down. Because, you know, maybe you find it annoying that your stamina is going down way too much. So you can customize that. Right, let's set it to how it was. And see, oops. 
this is medium now and you can see medium goes down quite a bit and obviously it depends how much weight you have next is max carry weight so right now i can carry uh, an extra 20 kilos so like the body of the stalker right if i i'm gonna remove this so right now it's 16 kilos right but if i crank it up 50 you can see it's 31 kilos now if i put the backpack on it's about 59 so, so yeah so that can you know really change how much you can carry then we have some basic i think everybody knows what these are uh water deprivation basically you have to drink or you're gonna die sleep deprivation same thing and then we have some interesting things down here but i'm gonna go to a radioactive place and show you what they are so um at this place this is uh, next to cord and there's a lot of radiation here and there's also a lot of anomalies anyway so this option here play radiation click sounds from geiger counter by the way it's not a geiger counter it's actually a dosimeter but um if i turn this on and i'm next to a radiation spot i'm not gonna hear the geiger counter basically clicks unless i have a geiger counter on me and then there's another option which is anomaly detector sound so if I don't have an, an anomaly detector, by the way, in game, I don't think it's possible to get an anomaly detector unless you use the bug mode. But uh, if you don't have it on you and you have this option on, when you get next to an anomaly, you start hearing those beeps, which basically tell you, hey, there's an anomaly in front of you, watch out. Right? So you can turn that off if you want a bit more... Uh, difficulty and we can also turn this on play radiation clicks from geiger counter and again it's not a geiger counter it's a dosimeter uh so get a dosimeter this is something that i think the stalker anomaly com uh, community needs to fix because this thing it's not a geiger counter at all anyway and uh, now as you can hear there's no beeps but we should hear some clicks here because there's some radiation we're gonna save because i'm not sure where i'm going right now oh and as you can so you can kind of hear that and if i keep it here it's gonna work as well but if i throw it out not gonna work okay so next we're going to look at progression options and progression options there's a lot of stuff here but are we going to start from the very bottom so we are we have outfit loot on corpse now this is usually set to progressive now what it does is let's say you kill a loner at the beginning of the game you might find an outfit uh from that loner that then you can fix or you know you can take but this doesn't happen all the time if the game thinks that this outfit is going to be too overpowered right for you at the beginning of the game it will basically hide that outfit so let's say you kill a military guy that has a barrel armor or an exosuit if you have progression on uh, with the outfit loot option uh, that thing will be hidden but if you if you set it to full like this press apply the next guy that you kill that has for example an exosuit will actually drop an exosuit so you know keep this in mind then you have limited amount of bolts right so how much bolts you can actually throw so right now i can throw as many as i like but if you enable that option then you have to collect bolts from other stalkers you can actually buy bolts from some of the npcs where is it oh there it is so this one has about 30 bolts right so you can like buy bolts i mean it's kind of expensive 500 are used for some bolts really anyway let's continue 
and then we have full percent system parts this affects how the weapon system works i like to keep it like this because this will degrade your weapon a bit more constantly uh, but it won't degrade it like you know from 70 percent to 50 percent all of a sudden so it's kind of like uh, far cry 2 if you ever played far cry 2 anyway so we have some obvious options here we have some artifact respawn chance after a psi storm so after a psi storm i can set it to uh, 50 percent this is basically 50 percent so there's a psi storm and there's a chance there's a 50 percent chance that uh artifacts have respawned then we have a trader restock uh, cycle right which is every 24 hours you can set it up to 168 hours i'm not sure how much is that i think that's around four or five days anyway you can set it to a minimum of 12 hours which is all right then you have power uh, battery power consumption right the higher this is the more your batteries are going to get depleted weapon degradation factor by the way this doesn't work well in gamma because gamma uses weapon parts overhaul and weapon parts overhaul will have its own option in the mcm menu so make sure to check that out chances of discovering stashes this is when you kill a stalker right and it will mark a, a random stash that you can find on your pda right so right now it's 40 percent it's 40 percent with medium i think um, uh, no this is on tourist yep it's on tourist so yeah on tourist every time you kill a stalker there's a 40 percent chance yep that's a 40 percent chance that uh stash will be marked which is i mean it's quite a lot right then you have loot factor how much money you'll find on stalkers how much items you'll find on stalkers then here you have the trading this is how much you can have to spend to buy so right now let's say it's 0 0.5 right if i go to sidrovich here so this gun is 7635 rubles right but if i crank it up he's gonna start stealing my money that's now now it's 30,000 rubles wow and obviously you have the reverse thing which is how much you can sell right so this is how much you can sell if i if i go to i can sell stuff that is cheap for a lot more right we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content i do a lot of stalker anomaly and gamma guides and i love testing new bots and show them to the stalker community okay so next we have upgrade cost factor this is when you go to a technician and you want to upgrade your gun right if you crank this up you're gonna ask for more money every time you upgrade a part of your weapon same thing goes to repair cost coefficient or coefficient right if i have let's say if i have a shotgun it's damaged I, can, I take it to a technician it's going to cost a lot more if i crank this up then here you have money rewards how much rewards you're going to get for the missions obviously and then you have goodwill and a lot of people don't really change this but goodwill can affect a lot of things in the game for example let's say that you want to buy good guns from Sidrovich, right? So right now, if I go to Sidrovich, you'll see he doesn't have a huge amount of weaponry or outfits, right? But if I start getting my goodwill up, he'll, he will actually show me more stuff that he can sell. So if you crank this up, right, and you just do four or five missions, you're going to level up your goodwill a lot more. And then there's this option minimum item condition for sale so right now i have this shotgun here it's at 32 percent if i talk to sidrovich you'll see that i can't really sell this thing 
saying it's too damaged, blah blah blah. But it's not true. It's actually not true. So if I go to settings, gameplay, progression, if I set this to just one percent, so this is one percent, right? And I press apply. Watch what happens. Now I can actually sell this gun. So you can, you know, make a lot of money like this. Now obviously you can. So this thing, that shotgun is around 30, 30 condition. So if I set it to 30 condition, I can still sell it, I think I can. But notice that it's at 32. So let's make it 33. 33. And now I can't sell it, as you can see. So you have to be careful with challenges right there are challenges in stalker anomaly but not just in stalker anomaly this is in gamma in efp it's in expedition everywhere anything that uses stalker anomaly as its game base is going to have these challenges right so one of them is the infamous invictus challenge where you have to start with iron man mode on right and in the Invictus challenge, basically, there's, by the way, there's more than one challenge, but this one is the like the most famous one, and you have to start on hard. You have to start with survivalist progression. You cannot use the bug mode or have the bug mode on at any time. And if you, let's say, you start and you're doing okay, and then maybe you go to settings, gameplay, game difficulty, and you feel like, hey, maybe I should crank up. How much uh, damage the bullets are have to do basically and you press apply you press apply and you press save you basically failed the challenge completely so please be very careful if you're going to do a challenge read what the challenge uh, has as requirements if it tells you that you can't change any of the options don't change the options so uh, let's talk about gamma now right so gamma by default which is on some of the options that are basically off in Stalker Anomaly. And one of them is this one, Hardcore AI Aiming. So you can find this in Gameplay and General, where you have your player name. And if you turn this on, it's going to be, let's say it's going to be 80% of the Gamma difficulty, which is from, you know, the AI being like super alert and they're trying to shoot you through a freaking hill or through the bushes or through a tree this will make them do just that also gamma uses an, a mod that also makes the ai a bit more alert but i will talk about that on you know, a mod list or something like that anyway so be careful from this hardcore ai aiming because it definitely makes a huge difference there's also this one delayed a repair by mechanics and this one is a little bit buggy of an option so basically let's say you turn this on like this you're going to repair a gun the technician is going to be like okay so you're going to give me 5000 rubles and you have to wait about 18 hours to you know reese for me to repair this gun right so what happens is it works works perfectly but let's say Let's say that you give him the gun and at that point you save, right? If you load the game and you wait 18 hours, uh, he will never give you the gun again because there's a little bit of a bug that it doesn't uh, remember that it, he has to give you the gun and you basically lose the gun. So what you have to do is you have to give him the gun and then you have to wait 18 hours without saving maybe you have to you know sleep but uh it's kind of pointless to have this on if you can't sleep so yeah uh here we have some dispawn uh, corpses and stuff like that i like to keep this so it cleans a little bit it's you know it's a bit aggressive on the cleaning where it comes to corpses just make sure that the corpses that are being cleaned are far away from you 75 distance is pretty good those are that's about 200 meters by the way 
anyway uh there's down here we have hunting kit must be equipped as a backpack to get the bonus so there is a hunting kit in uh, stalker anomaly it's basically a backpack right so yeah so this one when you equip this thing on your back it will give you some uh weight carrying bonuses but it will also give you a bonus for example where you can butcher uh, the meat and you can find basically more mutant parts right so if you equip this if you equip this right it will give you the bonus but if you turn this option off if i turn this off you can keep that backpack in your inventory and it will still count as a bonus so it's up to you how to set that up maximum tasks per npc i usually crank this to 10 in gamma or you know 4 or it's fine as well but uh, it doesn't do any difference it's not gonna lag the game or bug the game that's fine and then there's stealth kills and usually this is all turned off by default because it's a little bit buggy sometimes but you know it's nice to have so you enable this you can, can configure this and basically what it does this is very good for sniping by the way if you're sniping with a silenced sniper obviously um, and you shoot and you kill maybe the first guy there will be like a couple of seconds before the npcs will realize what's happening it also allows you to kill uh, you know stalkers with a melee weapon without making any sound and it doesn't work just for uh, snipers it works also for any gun that has a silencer right and then we have uh, this guy system this is also turned off by default and this guy system basically allows you to you know take an outfit that is not from your faction you can wear it and then you can basically sneak around and pretend you are one of those stalkers now this is, can be very useful in the story mode or even in warfare mode because you can you know infiltrate a base you know and do some chaotic stuff to the opposite faction and you have to be careful as well because this will absolutely destroy your goodwill because you will you know other stalkers will think you're a coward that you are a spy you know and stuff like that basically so here we have fast traveling as well now usually you can you have two options right you can disable this you can do visited only places so it's kind of like skyrim if you ever played skyrim you have to first go to a place and then once you go uh, get there you can basically fast travel back and forth and you can also set it to show all you can always show all the places then you can fast travel with your pda so i can do you can kind of see them they're are marked so i can do like this and right click and fast travel wherever i want and you know you can disable this but uh, what i like to do personally i like to use a backpack as my sort of like my hideout slash fast travel point so for example i have this backpack here i'm gonna go here Now let's say that I want this place to be sort of like my my hideout, my hideout right? Uh, I can right click on a backpack. It could be your backpack. It could be a backpack that you found or you bought. Create. Press. I'm gonna just type my hideout. FD. That will create a stash where you can put your stuff there. And you can also fast travel make it backpack and you can basically just right click here and you can fast travel i can't right now because i'm next to it but uh it's going to work basically okay so i'm going to cover this last part of the video right so here we have a mutant population and stalker population 
Now, it is recommended that you at least put it to 0.5 for story mode. You know, 0.25 is fine. But if you play warfare mode like I do, you might want to start this with the lowest uh, population factor. And in Gamma, you can actually crank up this to four times. So yeah, you can really have a lot of firefights. And in warfare mode, it's completely different though, because you can start with like low population and then it grows over time. But I will have to uh, remake a warfare mode guide later on. I already made one some uh, two months ago and it did really well. So thank you guys for your support. And then there's this thing, and there's a lot of myths about this thing. This is dynamic anomalies, right? So if you if I turn this on, it's not going to work because this only works at the start of the game. Very important that you turn this on or off starting of the game. And they are not dynamic anomalies. What it does, it just spawns more anomalies in the zone. They're always at the same location, they always do the same thing right for example if you turn this on there's a bridge uh, just uh, north of cordon there will always be some fire anomalies there if you turn this off they will uh, they will not spawn there basically so keep that in mind i hope you stalkers found this video useful if you have any questions write them here below in the comments I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers, so make sure to stalk me here on YouTube. Bye, and thank you for watching.